Ani Kinoya, a grand Dishnikas, Makwen Dodem, Bawating and Don Tribomino and Dada. Uh, my name is Gray. I'm Bear Clan, and I live in and grew up in, or was born in, uh, Bawating, uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Um, today I have for you the August 2024 Anishinaabe Mon calendar uh, that um, my program, La uh, Bemo's Language Preservation, made. Um, first, we'll go over just the pronunciation of each of the words in the calendar, if that's all you're interested in. And then uh, the slides following that in the presentation will have more information on the words and how they break down. So this month is Monomenike Gizus. Uh, Monomenike Gizus, that's the rising moon. And um, again, August 2024. Uh, you can see at the top uh, that we have the days of the week. The days of the week start on Monday. So that's the second column. And it starts with Intam Gizagud. Intam Gizagud. And that means first day or Monday. Nijo Gijagad, uh, second day or Tuesday. Nijo Gijagad. Nuso Gijagad. Nuso Gijagad, third day or Wednesday. Niwo Gijagad. Niwo Gijagad, that is the fourth day or Thursday. Nano Gijagad uh, is the fifth day or Friday. Nano Gijagad. Ingudwaswo Gijagat, Ingudwaswo, Ingudwaswo Gijagat. That is the sixth day or Saturday. And then Nijwaswo, Nijwaswo Gijagat. Uh, that is Sunday or the seventh day. Uh, so let's start at day one, um, which is today, the day of recording this. A niche Ejikidian blank. A niche Ejikidian. How do you say blank? So you could say, how do you say dog? A niche Ejikidian dog. And I want to mention that um, we're all learning, unless you're a first speaker or a fluent speaker, um, we're all learning and um, it's okay to use, people call it O Jinglish. Um, as you're learning because you want to try and incorporate these words into your everyday life. So um, you're okay to uh, say it even in a different sentence, like say, um, uh, can you pass the jitagen, the salt? You can do that kind of thing too. So a niche ejikidian. They visit each other. They visit each other. Anish P. When? Anish P. Nibing in the summer. Nibing. Anish Jinakazayan. Anish Jinakazayan. What are you called? So you would ask me that. Um, Anish Jinakazayan. How are you called or what are you called? And then um, on the July calendar, we had blank Indijnakaz. And I say that at the beginning of my videos. Gray Indijnakaz. My name is Gray. Anish Jinakazayan. And then the next thing that I say after my name is Indodem, blank Indodem. So I say Makwa Indodem. Uh, Makwa is bear. I am bear clan, or my clan is bear. So uh, blank Indodem. My clan is blank. Blank. Gawin eki kenma sin Indodem. I'll say it slow. Gawin. And that means I don't know my clan. Gawin, Menomen, 
wild rice, monomen, monomenike. Here she is harvesting wild rice, monomenike. Boam. Uh, here she knocks wild rice, boam. Boishkam, boishkam. Here she threshes wild rice, boishkam. Uede, over there, uede. We gijede, we gijede. It will be hot, we gijede. Bosh dogwan, bosh dogwan. That's broadleaf plantain. The weed, not the banana looking thing. Bosh dogwan. Gabeshe. Gabeshe. Here she is camping. Bugwayane gamik. Bugwayane gamik. A tent. Bugwayane gamik. Zagamogamik. Zagamogamik. A bathroom or an outhouse. Zagamokamek. Bejik Wabik, one dollar. Bejik Wabik. Machabkize, there is a full moon. Machabkize. Njibakwe, I am cooking. Njibakwe. Mizaminesan, Mizaminesan, grains of wheat. Ginwako Kosman, Ginwako Kos, or actually Ginwako Kosmanun, Ginwako Kosmanun, zucchinis. The Gonaganun, the Gonaganun, seasonings or ingredients, the Gonaganun. The gona ganun. Some of those words I just can't get my mouth around sometimes. Jiwinige, jiwinige, yeah, jiwinige. Here she sweetens something. Jiwinige. Nata jibakwe, nata jibakwe. Here she is a good cook. Benojis, a baby. Benojis. Quesens, a girl. Quesens. Quesens. Quesens, a boy. Inginwanaque. Inginwanaque. I have long hair. Inginwanaque. Giabe ngoshkos. Giabe ngoshkos. I am still waking up. And makde mashkikiabo, coffee. Makde mashkikiabo. So those are the pronunciations. And if you're interested in learning um, a little bit of the deeper meaning of these words, then continue watching. And if not, mama be. So manomenike gizis is the rising moon. Manomen is wild rice itself the object and then ike uh means he or she makes gathers produces something so you're gathering wild rice manomen ike gizis and gizis is the moon or a month anish ejikidian blank how do you say blank anish means how Eje is in a certain way. Kido, here she says. And yin, you. So there's several word parts that make up that eje kidian. How do you, how, so we're saying anish, how do you, yin, say kido something in a certain way? Eje. Anish eje kidayin. The grammar and order of words isn't the same in Anishinaabe one as it is in English. So that's why um, 
if you like literally translate it word part by word part, you're saying how in a certain way do does someone say you? <laughs> so, um, uh, but we're not getting into all the grammar and things like that in the calendar. Um, we are just um, working on pronunciation and meaning behind these words for now. Anish Ejikidian. But if you are interested in more things involving grammar and whatnot, um, please let me know. You can comment on this wherever you're watching it. Um, I also want to mention that um, I might not know any deeper meaning or like way to uh, break a word up um, because I'm a learner as well still. So um, not all of these will have um, the breakdown, but I try to do it for as many as I can. Mawadisidawak. Mawadisidawak. They visit each other. So Mawadish is visit him or her. Ide makes it is a word part and that means that it's reciprocal. So those people, they are visiting each other. And then walk makes it plural because there's more than one person. Well, what to say the walk? Anish P. Anish P. When. Um, for these who, what, when, where, why, how questions, um, there is some variation for sure depending on the dialect and. Um, but um, one that I see a lot in the one that I learned is Anish P. When. Nibing in the summer. Nibing. That ing ending makes it um, a location, basically. So Nibing, you're not just saying that it is summer, you're saying something is happening. This would be put together with other words to say that something is happening in the summer. Anish Jinakazian, what are you called? Um, Anish is how? Um, so really Anish Jinakazian, you're asking someone <clears throat> how they're called or how they're named. Um, of course, Anishinaabe one doesn't have direct translations a lot of the time, so it might look a little weird, but I'm just trying to break down the word parts and different words that make things up so that you might be able to pick those out of other words or phrases and start to uh, put some things together and understand um, and be able to somewhat translate words that you might see in the future. So Anish, how? Eje, again, is in a certain way. Nakazo means named. And the yin at the end is uh, you, so talking to you. Blank in dodem, my clan is. That N apostrophe, you might also say see it as N-I or N-I-N. Um, that stands for neen. So you're talking about yourself. That's why it's my clan is and not his or her clan is or your clan is that n dodem or ne dodem um is referring to i or me and dodem is your clan or just clan in general so um in dodem my clan is blank i need to get a drink one second I just got to do this all in one shot videos because um, just the software we have. So, Gawin in Giken the Masin in Dodem. Gawin is no. You can just use that as a sentence. Just Gawin, no. In Giken the Masi. So, again, that N or N or Nin is I. Gekenama, find out about him or her. So I find out about him or her. Except we have Gawin, right? So what is the C at the end? Uh, when you're using Gawin, there are some 
uh, word parts that have to go after the verb. In this case, it's C. Um, so it has, you have to pair the gawin with one of those word parts at the end of the verb. Gawin in gikenama, uh, in dodem wouldn't make sense within Anishinaabe Moan grammar. So, gawin in gikenama, si, um, in dodem, we just talked about in dodem, um, my clan is so um i don't know what my clan is that's kind of how a negative sentence or a no sentence or phrase works if that's just too complicated feel free to just memorize it too um gawin and can the mossy i know people have different ways of learning so uh, Minomen, wild rice. Mino means good or well. We've seen a lot of words throughout our calendars so far that um, use mino. And then uh, I know it's mano in uh, the word, but spelling gets kind of weird in Anishinaabe Mon sometimes. So mino is good. And then min uh, is a berry, a seed, or a grain. Any of those small kind of spherical kind of um, seed or berry like things. <laughs> I recently learned um, from uh, Elders Bingo, Teresa who does the community, um, community health bingo, that watermelon is a berry, but we don't really think of it as that because it's so gigantic, but technically, the watermelon, a watermelon is the berry of a watermelon plant. So I thought that was interesting. <laughs> Random tangent, but I just wanted to share that. So Monomen. And then Monomenike, here she is harvesting wild rice. So this is the verb version. Monomen is wild rice. And a K means here she makes, produces, or gathers something. Bawa'am, here she knocks wild rice. So the bow means to knock or shake, and a uh is uh, to act on it using a tool. Um, basically, Anishinaabe one is very descriptive, and you can almost break down, I think, I believe it's... Um, Helen Roy, who really breaks down Anishinaabe one into every little sound, like that, uh. So, boa, um. That is knocking. Here she knocks wild rice. And bowishkum, bowishkum, here she threshes wild rice. So, that is getting that papery substance off of the actual seed of, um, the wild rice. So again, the bow is knocking or shaking, and shk is acting on it by foot or body. Shk. So uh, when you thresh wild rice, you are, uh, after wild rice is collected, you have to parch it by putting it in a big tub and roasting it over the fire, essentially. That starts to get that husk off, the papery part. Um, kind of like a really tiny, like, piece of corn. Imagine the husks like that. And then um, the rice is danced or jigged, it's called. And um, there will be, like, a lined hole in the ground. And someone puts on moccasins and dances on it. Basically just squishes it around with their feet, which further threshes it. And then you winnow the rice which is taking a pan and tossing it over and over so that the grains fall down because they're heavier and that really thin, light, papery substance floats away in the wind. So that's what threshing is, if you weren't aware. Bawishkum. Uwede, over there. I remember this one because it almost sounds like over there, uwede. I don't, does it to you? I don't know. It does to me. <laughs> Wait there. 
we gijde, it will be hot. So gijde itself means it is hot currently. When you put that we prefix, which means it goes before the verb, we means it is going to, it will, or it wants to. So it will be hot. Bosch dog one, Bosch dog one, broadleaf plantain, Bosch dog one. Gabeshe, Gabeshe, here she is camping. Oh, I wanted to mention to you, this is really good medicine. Uh, and it's seen as a weed, but it's really good medicine actually. So, um, Gabeshe, here she is camping. Gabe, uh, means all the way or to the end and she means here she spends time or lasts it's kind of a cool way of describing camping like I'm imagining like here she lasts the whole day outside or something like that gabeshe bagwayanegamek that's a tent and bagwayane is cloth. Um, you would also call your shirt bagwayan, uh, bagwayane. And then uh, gamik is a building or a structure. So bagwayane gamik. <laughs> Zagamol gamik, that's a bathroom or an outhouse. So we have gamik again. It's a building. And... Uh, Zagamol is to go outside. There are other ways to say bathroom too, um, but this is the most polite way <laughs> of saying it. So um, uh, go ask one of your elders how to say bathroom and they'll probably say a different one, but I'm not going to mention it here. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that, but um, you know, just trying to be professional. <laughs> Zagamogamic. Bejikwabic. Bejikwabic. That is one dollar. Bejik is one. And wabic is a word that's used um, to describe money. Mishabkize. There's a full moon. Mishabkize. Mich is kind of like Giche. It means big. And abic is something like a rock or a mineral or glass, like a hard, um, inorganic solid. So technical and scientific, but, um, a solid hard material. Njibakwe, njibakwe, I am cooking. N, again, that's I. You could say nijibakwe, ninjibakwe. Uh, I, a lot of my teachers are Eastern dialect, so I hear them mostly go njibakwe. The N is just like a small sound at the beginning, so that's what I tend to do. Um, but I want to try and teach you guys also how to say, how, how else you might see it if you're looking at other resources. Um, because it can be confusing because like I said, there's a lot of, um, uh, a lot of variation in the spelling in Anishinaabe Moan, so it gets very confusing very quickly. At least that's what I find. <laughs> so um, learning about different dialects and um, how they spell things or say things is very um, important, I think. So Njibakwe, I am cooking. And that means I, and then Njibakwe is he or she cooks. When I say he or she, that means that um, that's like the root word. That's the root verb. Uh, Anishinaabe one is 80% verbs. So we have these root words that are he or she does something. And then you can add prefixes, which are word parts that go at the beginning, like ni or nin, or like um, you could say we jibakwe, we in ji, uh, yeah, we in Jibakwe, I want to cook. So um, it's kind of like you have this root word 
And then all this is how I imagine it in my head, at least all of these puzzle pieces that you can use at the beginning and the end and elsewhere within a f longer phrase that you can use to change the meaning. Uh, Mizaminensan, Mizaminensan. Notice I say Mizaminensan, uh, that N, or you may also see NH, that is a nasal sound. So it's not necessarily Mizaminensan, it's Mizaminensan. And that is grains of wheat. So Mizamin, uh, Mizaminin, Miz, Mizamin, yeah, Mizamin. When you get those single eyes one after the other, it's hard sometimes. Mizamin, um, a grain of wheat. Mizamin is a grain of wheat. And again, S is small, diminutive, and un at the end means uh, that makes it plural because you usually don't have a single grain of wheat. So, Mizamin and Sun. Ginwako Kosmanan, uh, Ginwako Kosmanan, zucchinis. Ginwako means uh, long and stick-like, and a kosman is a squash, or you may also hear that as a pumpkin. Um, it's any kind of squashy uh, vegetable. Um, People may have different words for different things, such as ginwako kosmanan. Um, I imagine someone has translated butternut squash or anything like that. Um, well, here we have zucchinis, ginwako kosmanan. The gonaganan, the gonaganan, those are seasonings or ingredients. So dagonan means to add it or mix it in. And gun at the end makes the verb into a noun. It makes it into a thing. So the gonagun and then the un at the end is plural. The gonagunun. The gonagunun. Jiwinike. Jiwinike. Here she sweetens something. Jiu means something has a distinctive taste, such as sweet, sour, or salty. You would probably understand what it is based on context um, within, like, what else you're talking about. Um, so Jiu, and then in means to act on it by hand. So that's obviously someone sprinkling or pouring um, a sweetener into something. And then Ge, again, means here she acts or does something make something. So, jiwenege. Nita jiwakwe. Nita jiwakwe. Here she is a good cook. So we had jiwakwe. Here she cooks. We had njibakwe. I cook. And then we have nita jiwakwe. Here she is a good cook. Nita means to know how to do something or be skilled at it. It's a a word part that goes before um, a verb to say that you're good at something. You could say nita uh, Here she is good at ricing. Binojis. Again, that nasal sound. Binojis. Binojis. That is a baby. This is another sound. Uh, nasal sound, the next two have that as well. Quesens, quesens, that's a girl, quesens. And guiwesens, guiwesens is a boy. Nginwanakwe, nginwanakwe, I have long hair. Again, it could be ninginwanakwe, nikinwanakwe. Nginwanakwe, that N is I, um, and gin, gin is long, and anakwa is hair, so nginwanakwe. You can see how these different word parts come together to make full 
phrases and full words. Giabe ngoshkos, I am still waking up. Giabe ngoshkos, Giabe means still. And again, we have the n, that's I. Goshkoze, he or she wakes up or is awake. So I am still waking up. And I want to mention that the goshkoze, he or she wakes up. Uh, and, and you see how in our phrase it says goshkoz. That is because we have that neen in there. We have that n. Um, it's the same thing if you're talking about you, which is geen. If you're gonna, you you said giave, uh, giave kagoshkos, goshkos. Sorry, it's kind of complicated. So giave. So when you have two G's, this I am. I believe this is kind of an Eastern dialect thing. Those two G's, g instead of saying gigoshkos, they'll say koshkos. They kind of uh, just merge that into one sound. Giabe koshkos. Anyway, all that to say, um, when you have those two at the beginning, the uh, short vowel drops off. So that's why he or she wakes up as goshkoze and ngoshkos or kagoshkos uh, would, uh, doesn't have that I at the end. Sorry, that got a little complicated. Makde mushke keabo. Makde is black. Mushkeke is medicine. And abo is a liquid. Makde mushke keabo. Miigwech for listening. Um, you can find, well, you're probably watching this video on YouTube. Um, but if not, you can find, if you're somehow watching it somewhere else, just know that we have um, a Facebook page, um, Baymel's Language and Culture, and our YouTube is also called Baymel's Language and Culture. Um, you can just search those platforms. And an image of the calendar, if you wanted to print it out, is also available on um, our Facebook page. So please check that out and follow. And um, miigwech again. Have a great day. Bama pee.